Marine parks have been used as an effective way of managing the preservation of coastal and aquatic environments globally by limiting the amount of human activity in areas considered to be environmentally valuable for many years, but they have also been subject to controversy. Australia is home to some of the most unique and diverse marine ecosystems and therefore has a network of marine parks which surround the coastal areas of the country. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest coral reef ecosystem in the world, located off the coast of Australia's northeast border. Its size and diversity also makes it one of the most fragile ecosystems in the world. It is because of this fragility that the reef was made a protected marine park in 1975. However, only 5% of the marine park was named a no-take zone which allowed commercial fishing and recreational activities to continue in a very large area of the reef. This changed in 2003 with the introduction of the new zoning plan, which aimed to improve the preservation of the reef with more restrictions to human activity. Managing waste being fed into the Great Barrier Reef has been one of the most challenging issues the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority has had to control and the authority is still looking at ways to improve this. Although most of the reef is offshore and away from coastal pollution, coastal fringing reefs are affected by sewage discharge, agriculture runoff that is nutrient rich from fertilizers and urban development. It is the sewage discharge and agriculture runoff that is responsible for coral bleaching. Although no take zones have significantly improved the abundance of targeted reef fish populations, they have had little effect on the dwindling population sizes of bigger reef species such as the black tip shark and dugong. It is believed that the regeneration of population sizes for these species will be a much longer process because they are less likely to stay within the no take zones when searching for food sources, unlike many of the targeted reef fish species. Zoning combined with sustainability practices such as bag limits, fishing rules, seasonal closure of areas, licenses and limits to tourist activity are conservation and preservation management strategies that ensure the Great Barrier Reef is protected. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park's success has been linked to the unique method used to plan the restrictive zoning areas while including local communities and businesses.